How do you begin to define a college basketball program? Do you look at their record? The amount of recruits that they have each year? Or do you look at their gym? Look at their coaches? Look at their history? Perhaps the best way to define a program is to look at their mission, look at their goals, look at their standards. Welcome to the 2011-2012 season recap for Pittsburgh State University men's basketball, where we do things the gorilla way. The Gorillas' 2012 schedule would open with an unlikely opponent, with the team heading to Lawrence for an exhibition matchup with the University of Kansas. The Gorillas would fall in the match, but held tight with the future national runner-ups throughout a good portion of the game. And even with one of the team's senior leaders, Eric Ray, sidelined due to injury, the Gorillas' offense highlighted the court in Allen Fieldhouse with a little bit of offensive flair. After the team went 1-1 one one to open their regular season at the annual South Central Regional Challenge in Texas, the Gorillas would open their home schedule by hosting the Pitt State Classic, with two NAIA schools, Mid-America Nazarene and Avila University competing, as well as the home Gorillas and their conference rival Missouri Southern. And although the Gorillas and Lions wouldn't meet that weekend, the team would collect wins against both their NAIA opponents beating Nazarene 93-84 and Avila by a score of 88-78. The team would drop their next matchup to Central Oklahoma before rebounding with back-to-back -back wins over Southwestern College and Missouri Western. The Gorillas showcased their offense in a 33-point blowout of Southwestern, with Javon McGee leading the way with a team-high 22 points and 7 rebounds, and Eric Ray contributing 17 points of his own. Another highlight of the night was senior Adrian Herrera, who came off the bench to contribute 13 points, displaying most of his offense from behind the three-point line. And in their matchup against the Griffins four days later, McGee and Ray would continue to lead the way in scoring, with Javon recording a double-double with 17 points and 11 boards, while Ray and fellow senior Dre Green kept pace with 17 points apiece. The Gorillas would drop three of their next four MIAA games to begin the month of December, heading into a home matchup against the nationally ranked Missouri Southern team on December 30th. The game would truly be a battle number six Lions doing their best to contain the Gorillas' standout senior, Eric Ray, who responded to the spotlight of the rivalry matchup by setting fire to the Nets in John Lance Arena. Ray would finish the night with a career-high 28 points, shooting a perfect 4-for-4 four four from behind the arc. Coach Muff's team would receive strong performances from the rest of the roster, with the Gorillas holding strong and upsetting the surging Lions with a 97-87 home win. And in the post-game press conference, it was clear that the Gorillas' momentum had changed course. You know, winning cures a lot of things, and um, th this business is based on, on wins and losses as, as a coach, and um, we understand that, and I think our players, you know, they, they understand that too, and they want to win. Um, they want to be rewarded for their efforts and their work and the time that they put in. So, obviously, a win's big. And we just, like you said, you know, knocked off the number six team in the nation. And I, don't, like I said, I don't care if it's our place or on the road, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a big win for our program. The Gorillas would go on to win their next three games, defeating Lincoln and Emporia State on the road before toppling conference powerhouse Washburn in a 79-70 win with the Gorillas once again utilizing the home floor advantage of John Lance Arena and moving to 6-3 in the conference. The next eight games of the Gorillas schedule would put the team's willpower to the test, as the team would drop six of their next eight contests to conference opponents, with their two wins coming against Missouri Western on the road and Truman at home. 
and their last loss coming in a double overtime thriller in Joplin, facing off against a Missouri Southern squad that the Gorillas had taken down just a month earlier. And on February 11th, the team hosted MIAA opponent Lincoln University, looking to break their four-game skid. Momentum is a hard thing to describe. It's sometimes hard to pinpoint what causes it. It's even more difficult to tell when it will shift. But on February 11th at 3.30 in the afternoon, the Gorillas' momentum shifted, this time back in their favor. After claiming a 72-61 win over the Blue Tigers to break their losing streak, the team would go 2-2 two two over the course of their next four games, with their wins coming against Emporia State and Northeastern State to round out their regular season schedule. With the Gorillas honoring their seniors before their regular season closing win over the Riverhawks. It's, you know, after, and it almost broke down out there, but afterwards I just went in the locker room and cried and and it kind of got that out of my system because um, it'll never be like this again, never be with those guys again. And Dre, I've only had two years, but, you know, what a what a great group of guys, a great group of individuals who um, – Frank Martin said it, so I'm not going to steal his quote, but they left the program in better shape than when they got it. So if you can do that, and did we get as far as we wanted to? Well, there's, that's yet to be seen. We still got a shot at that. Did we – not get a conference title? No, we didn't. But we won some big games. We, we took some strides. Um, we're, we're a better team now, I think, than we before they got here three years ago. I think it's a, the program's in better shape. Coach Muff's squad would finish the season with a 15-13 and 13 overall record, 10-10 and 10 in conference play, and having earned a seventh seed in the MIAA conference tournament in downtown Kansas City, where the Gorillas would prove that a postseason ranking is indeed only a number. The Gorillas would come into the tournament as the seventh seed, quickly earning the Cinderella title after unseating number two Central Missouri in the first round, 78-64 and beating Northwest Missouri by three points in the semifinals to set up a conference championship matchup with Washburn University on Sunday afternoon. And after the Gorillas and Ichabods had split their regular season series, the game was highly competitive. But in the end, it was Washburn that would walk away with the conference title, holding off a late rally by the underdog Gorillas. By making it to the title game on March 4th, Kevin Muff's team did much more than prove their critics wrong, setting in motion a path that, although long and sometimes rough, will eventually lead a team towards greatness, and a path that will undoubtedly be the foundation for building a legendary program.